I'm going to get into my topic. This is technically news, but it's just such a big piece of news that I wanted this to be a topic. There was a huge announcement the day of recording this. Marvel and Square Enix announced a partnership. Uh, I'm going to read you guys the official press release from Square Enix. And it states, uh, Marvel Entertainment and Square Enix today announced a new multi-year multi-game licensing agreement to develop and publish original games based on beloved Marvel superheroes. Beginning with The Avengers, which is the title of the new game, they released a trailer, a teaser trailer for it, it looks super cool, has the Avengers logo, uh, hashtag reassemble, so you're assuming this is after some kind of big conflict, maybe Civil War, maybe something else. Uh, it goes on to state, this newly established partnership pairs the creative minds at Marvel and Square Enix for one of the most powerful alliances in interactive entertainment. The first blockbuster game is being crafted by Crystal Dynamics, developers of the award-winning Tomb Raider series, in collaboration with Eidos Montreal the home of the critically acclaimed and award-winning Deus Ex game series. The Avengers project is being designed for gamers worldwide and will be packed with all the characters, environments, and iconic moments that have thrilled longtime fans of the franchise. Featuring a completely original story, it will introduce a universe of gamers. It will introduce a universe gamers can play in for years to come. More details on the Avengers project and other games will be announced in 2018. Uh, Right off the bat, I'm super excited. Uh, I'm pretty sure Dom is too. Uh, this is crazy. So the day before this announcement, uh, Marvel posted a thing saying, tune in tomorrow morning. Square Enix posted a thing saying, tune in tomorrow morning. And running through everybody's minds is, worst case scenario, it's something we don't really care about, some weird mobile game. Best case scenario, we're probably going to see the, the Marvel worlds for Kingdom Hearts, is what everyone assumed. Square Enix and Marvel, that's probably what they're going to be talking about. Makes the most sense. No one anticipated this. This is another example of Marvel being like, we're kind of dominating the superhero game in every other medium. Our video games aren't the greatest. So let's go get Insomniac to make a Spider-Man game. Let's get Telltale to make a Guardians game. And them partnering with Square Enix, having Crystal Dynamics, who's been on a hot streak um, as of late with the two Tomb Raider games that are phenomenal, and Eidos Montreal with Deus Ex. This is incredible. Like... I know you haven't watched all the Marvel movies or anything like that, but are you excited about this, Tom? About a, a well-crafted Marvel game? Yeah, no, I think this is the right choice. Uh, seeing Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix, uh, th their names pop up on that trailer. Like, yeah, okay, you guys are doing this right. Like, you can, you know, Crystal specifically, I can. This is that's a great pick for a superhero game, right? Because especially fresh off of uh, those two term Tomb Raider games, third-person action. You know, it's not too 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 much farther away from that. I I will be interested to see exactly what, at least this first game, this first series will be, if it's going to be more of a some action game with some light RPG elements, or is it just going to be straight up like action, like a fighting type game? I'm yeah, like you said, I'm not as into the MCU as you are, but definitely understand the gravity of what just got announced. This is a huge deal. Yeah, and it's. This is so interesting to me because it's it's weird that it seems like DC does this in every medium. Is they're they're good at the initial jump on things, you know, with the movies or stuff, and then Marvel just does it better. And with with DC, the Batman games are phenomenal. All of the Arkham games, I haven't played all of them, but I I know those games are great games just from what everyone's always talked about. And it's strange that they haven't extended themselves DC. But to ha they see how well those games sell, you know, they see how beloved those games are, and they just haven't extended their hand anywhere else. It's weird. And Marvel now has been like, we used to license our games out, and people used to make okay games, if not bad games. We're gonna take take these franchises, take them to game companies that are proven that make really good games, and we're gonna be like, hey, can you make a game for us? Who's gonna turn that down? You know, you get to have some of the most iconic, like pop culture. Uh, icons of the last like 80 years to work within a video game it's incredible like Crystal, Dy Crystal Dynamics has done a phenomenal job bringing Tomb Raider back uh, you know though Deus Ex hasn't gotten the greatest reviews it's still a beautiful game and it's still a well crafted game and uh, having them collaborate together is phenomenal I, I'm kind of with you in the sense of I anticipate this game being more in the realm of Tomb Raider where it's not an open world, but it's sectioned off open worlds, if that makes sense, yeah. like open areas. Um, the other thing here, and to take this with a grain of sand, this game might not be out for a while. The fact is, is they announced this and they said more details on the Avengers project and other games will be announced in 2018. 
Um, I, I'm thinking at best we'll get a game fall 2018. At best, best. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so don't expect anything this year. I think uh, they were waiting to probably be far enough along that they were confident in announcing this. Um, I can only anticipate when they say multi-game, we don't know how many. Uh, they say that they're building a universe in the Avengers project, meaning that at least that series will have at least two games, right? You can you can kind of assume that. When they say other games, we were talking about this before the show, I can almost guarantee that they're going to try their hand at some type of Marvel Go. We talked about Hitman Go earlier. They have seemed to have done a Go game for every uh, Square Enix franchise for the most part. Uh, some big ones. They have Hitman. Who am I? They have Hitman, they have Tomb Raider, and they have Deus Ex, right? Those three yeah. right there. So you can anticipate there probably being a Marvel one of some sort. Um, or individual my guess is, ones. Yeah. yeah, my guess is individual ones spread out over time. So, you know, Iron Man go, and then a couple, a year, whatever later, uh, Captain America go, and so on. That They could milk that for a long time. Yeah, I agree. Um, this is great because it's, it's bringing, like, it's, oh, it's just bringing together a franchise everyone loves with the game developer and game publisher everyone loves. Uh, my only my only worry with this, and we talked about this for the show as well, is I really hope that this doesn't turn into an exclusive deal for Microsoft. Um, you know, the Spider-Man game is exclusive for PS4, which is awesome for PS4 gamers, but uh, Dom and I discussed that, like it's weird when it's not a property that's originally made by that company, then it's exclusive. You know, right. um, <clears throat> it's just really weird. When you think of Spider-Man... I guess when you think of Spider-Man movies, you think of Sony, which isn't necessarily PlayStation, but, like, Spider-Man is more than PlayStation. It's more than Sony, right? It's not Uncharted or Crash or any of these things. It's weird to see it exclusive, which is great for PS4 gamers. I really hope, because we've seen Crystal Dynamics games be Xbox exclusives in the past, at least timed exclusives, for a year. Um, I really hope this isn't a exclusive for Xbox. It would be a big win for Xbox and Phil Spencer, but me personally, I hope as many people can experience this as soon as possible. So... I'm really hoping that this isn't an exclusive. Um, it, so, it's... go ahead. Oh, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so I guess I'm curious. How do you envision this game looking? Um, you see this as you're going to rotate and play through. You know, I don't even know how many Avengers there are. You know, are you going to be switching from Iron Man to Captain America? I, I just the logistics of this game. Well, of course they'll figure it out, and I'm sure it'll be great. But it's it's hard for me to wrap my head around it right now. Yeah, it's it's so weird too because so they signed the deal. The wording of it is they signed a multi-game licensing agreement with Square Enix, and there's a game under Square Enix's umbrella, the developers Crystal Dynamics and and uh, and Eidos Montreal making the Avengers project, meaning that they could possibly have other um, other game developers making other games under the Square Enix umbrella. It's like it'd be weird if they did like a like a like a turn-based RPG in the Marvel's universe. That'd be weird. Yeah. But with this game specifically, it's hard because... So my initial thought, like we said, is uh, an open-area Tomb Raider-esque game, right? And that makes me wonder if, like, maybe each area or maybe each couple areas or something like that is a different character. So you're not actively... You're, it's see. not like a Lego right. game. You're not actively changing between characters in one area. It could possibly right. be that, you know... Um, your, your change characters as the story progresses. The other weird thing here in the wording is it says, introduce a universe gamers can play in for years to come. It could possibly be a multiplayer persistent game as well. Yeah. Maybe this is an MMO? It could also be like an Overwatch-ish game, which would be Just insane. Just like a, more of a platform. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. A, it's like a, a, a shooter multiplayer <laughs> game where you bring characters to it. And uh, if it's... The problem with that is Square Enix, like Crystal doesn't have, Tomb Raider's multiplayer is okay. That's not what they're known for. Eidos Montreal isn't known for multiplayer. So I, don't I didn't even think... know it had multiplayer. Yeah. I, it's like Uncharted's multiplayer. Some people say it's, oh, it's so great. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah. So neither of them really have a strong background in multiplayer. So I think I'm just reading too much into that. Um, what I would love is if they brought back the Ultimate Alliance series, uh, where you did you ever play Marvel Ultimate Alliance? No. So, have you ever played Diablo games? No. Um, no. I've watched a lot of Diablo. Okay, so you know how Diablo is, uh, <laughs> it's it's like an isometric or top down dungeon crawler, hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you c control one character. 
Imagine having that one character, but you could either switch between four characters or four people can be in that same game with you, if that makes sense. It's like Godlet meets Diablo, kind of. Yeah. Um, and they're really fun games. They're button mashers for the most part. It'd be interesting to see Square Enix kind of dive into that and make it more polished. They were good games. They weren't great games. I think the Activision uh, up reses or whatever they wanted to call them that came out on Xbox One. I don't know if they came out on PS4. They were charging like 40 bucks for both of them, which is insane to me. Maybe even 60 I don't remember the exact price. Way too expensive for those games. Uh, I was really thinking about buying them possibly. Didn't even happen. Um... Yeah, well, uh, hmm. I'm just trying to think. It's hard to figure out what this game's possibly going to be because it can be so it's many different lot. things. Yeah. It's a lot to think about. Have you played either of the Tomb Raiders? Yeah, uh, the first one, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, no, it was great. Um, it was fun. Like, the gameplay was great. Um, it looked really good. The story, I really couldn't have cared less about. It was kind of just there. Um, the Lara was really cool. Some of the other characters are kind of lame, but overall, no, it was great. Yeah, it's just, it's it's weird. Like, it's awesome that this this deal was made, but it's weird because we don't necessarily have a pin on what this game is going to be, you know? So it's, it's really interesting because with Insomniac and Spider-Man, it's like, that makes sense. We know what that game is. Right, you know, you know exactly know what, what it is. is. Yeah. It's infamous, you know? Um it with with this it's like even the telltale in, in gardens of the galaxy we know what that game's gonna be you know mm -hmm. it's a telltale game with the guardian skin on it uh <laughs> what if telltale comes out and like it's just a first person shooter like completely God. different than what they've been making yeah and <laughs> that leads me to believe that like you know occam's razor usually the most obvious answer is the right one Maybe it is just open area Tomb Raider esque, but Marvel characters, you know, and I'd be fine with that. Uh, it's interesting because the world that Eidos Montreal built Deus Ex is so deep, and there's so many details that I'd be really intrigued to see what their their kind of cities and landscapes and areas kind of would be, you know. So I don't know. Just it's really intriguing. It's really exciting. Um, I would. I would put money on us seeing another announcement like this at E3 this year, maybe before. I think Marvel is going for the throw with this. They know they can make money in the video game realm if the games are really well done. I would almost guarantee that we'll see at least one more partnership uh, by the end of E3 with another company, which would be amazing. Um, I'm super excited for that. I think we both are. If Jordan was here, he'd be super excited too. Uh, we look forward to what they have. And uh, they say we're going to hear stuff at 2018. We might see some kind of weird teaser trailer at E3. You never know. So keep your keep your heads up, and hopefully we get this game by the end of 2018 at the very earliest. Um, I'd be surprised if this game came out next year, but we'll see. Who knows?